Alice is, by definition, an employed individual. And I also think of Alice as being an entire family who are working more than 40 hours each as individual adults, uh, putting together often part-time jobs or a full-time job with a part-time job on the side because the full-time job, even with health benefits, isn't enough to pay the bills. The person who just served you a hamburger is Alice. It could be a salesperson in a store. It could be the person that cleans your home. It could be the person that does your lawn. We all know Alice and we all encounter Alice probably on a daily basis. People who are Alice are really scraping to survive. It's not only that the month is tight, but the money is too little. They're having to decide exactly where to place their money. Do they put it into a mortgage? Do they put it into food? Do they put it into a gas for the car to get to work? Do they put it into childcare for their kids? They want to get ahead. They maybe want to go to school so they can do better than just have a minimum wage job, but you've still got to put food on the table. An Alice family faces a real challenge to ever even consider what the pathway out of that circumstance might be, much less do something about it. When you're struggling just day by day just to get by, the American dream seems so far out of reach. The emotional impact number one is loss of hope. 25% of our neighbors are living with this kind of stress every day. Often, Alice households don't have hope because they think they're in a situation that doesn't have any doors out. I believe we're all brothers and sisters, so I think that we're all there to lift one another up. We have a strong understanding of how integral Alice's to a thriving community. They're out there fueling the economy. They're also the population that may not go out and request assistance because they really want to earn their living and want to pay their own way. They're people who touch our lives and they need support. Help with that struggle any way you can. We need to start with us giving to our community. One of the best things people can do is give to the United Way. United Way benefits Alice families, first of all, for bringing them into the forefront, for helping people to realize that there are Alices out there. The United Way really does a spectacular job of keeping its finger on the pulse in terms of community needs assessments. There are needs in this community that wouldn't be addressed if it weren't for the United Way. If you're giving to United Way, you're contributing to a safety net. So giving to the United Way is ever more critical in providing funding for that safety net of services. Without that safety net, this region would really sink. You have an opportunity, regardless of your circumstances, to help those who are in greater need than you may be in. Alice has a dream. Alice wants to work, wants to provide a better life for her family or his family. The cost of providing supports to somebody who's homeless and putting that person in a house and getting that person back on their feet as soon as possible is far less than having that person remain homeless and having their life spin further and further out of control. You're saving the state of Connecticut millions of dollars a year by contributing to a United Way, allowing us to help people live stabler lives and actually live healthier and happier lives. If all of us participated, the ripple effect, the collective impact of that would be huge. And you'll probably never meet most of the families who you've helped, but they're out there and they say thank you, and I say thank you. <laughs>